Good morning, humanity. It's September 2, 2019, and it's another day with Bev and Paul. And good morning, everybody. My name's Paul. Hello, my name's Bev. Good morning. Hi, Bev. Hi, Paul. Good to see How you again. You? <laughs> it's funny just looking at space and trying to picture you as a hologram. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> We'll get good at this. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll actually merge and I'll go on that screen and you'll come on this screen. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so hello, everybody. Welcome again. It's a wonderful day and happy Labor Day. So we thought because it's Labor Day, we, our question would be, what is the labor in BioTouch? Good question. So uh, we uh, wanted to, first of all, in that question, wanted to uh, talk about the labor, the whole labor force, right? You know, yes. I mean, we have plumbers and doctors and roofers and gardeners and lawyers, um, you know, the military people. I mean, everybody is being of service to humanity. And I mean, even the homeless people on the street, I always see them, you know, on their, you know, the corner, you know, begging for money and it's always wonderful to give them money and thank them for the job they do, right? I mean, yeah. even they are an important part of our society. So, exactly. yeah. So here we are on Labor Day. We want to honor all of us who are laboring and talk about, you know, like what is labor? What came up to your mind when you thought about what is labor? Well, you know, I'd really like to uh, start out. I wanted to share something with everybody that I found today. Um I'm just going to, let me just do this. And it was a meme I saw, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, this is like us. This is uh, BioTouch. So it's a meme. It has the word hustle, uh, <laughs> a line through it, and under underneath it in big, bold letters, it has the word align, and it says, destroy the idea that you have to be constantly working or grinding in order to be successful. Embrace the concept that rest recovery and reflection are essential parts of the progress towards a successful and ultimately happy life. Well, my goodness, isn't that just what, uh, <laughs> what my touch is bringing? And then it reminded me of something in our epilogue. Oh yeah. Let's in our read manual. It. Yeah. All right. So we'll read a little bit from our manual in the epilogue. If you've never read the epilogue, oh my God, you are missing the depth there, of our philosophy. <laughs> so much depth in this. So this one, the second paragraph here in our manual, as an associate learns the value of human beings caring for one another and seriously engages in the process of healing, he or she may, on achieving marvelous and beneficial results, be inspired to speculate on various aspects of the human condition. The associate may begin to conceive that the usual arbitrary distinction drawn between the body and the mind extends to a harmony with the spiritual aspect of the human trinity. Well, that is, um, you know, for me, that's that's part of that labor of love, right? That BioTouch is uh, really offering to all of us. Right, meeting that that harmony. I mean, and it's interesting how the whole thing um, addresses the body. You know, I mean, this whole idea of Labor Day, right? We think about, well, I've worked all week, you know, and I've done my particular job. Now I'm going to sit home and rest. I mean, what you first read, um, and yet there's there's so much more to our being as we just read in that. Uh, that little epilogue, you know, I mean, we become aware as we do BioTouch of the, there's this harmony. There's other things in play here uh, besides just the body. Right. There's a, there's this other side of this term that we use called labor. Um, the other side of that is that in, in this depth of our beingness, you know, our emotionals and our mental, all of this in the body is being held. And that whole labor that, frankly, I think BioTouch, um, you know, when we talk about who is working here, who the laborer is, we have to look at the body. 
because the body, as we have said many times, holds all of that which needs to be worked with. And when you give it a tool, a working tool called BioTouch, what do we get to do? We get to offer that. The body uses that. It, it is a supreme laborer. It knows what to do. <laughs> but we get to observe. And in that relationship, we get to observe all of that. That is, you know, this is where we're saying this morning that the, the labor is love. And as you were saying earlier, we all have our little parts to play in this great entity called humanity. Right. And, and what's nice about uh, BioTouch is its presentation of addressing the body. Um, yes. Even the Dalai Lama said, look at bodies, because if you want to understand the oneness of humanity, that's the only thing we really agree to. You know, once we leave the body, it's like everybody argues and fights wars about why did we come here? What are we supposed to do while we're here on this planet? And what are we going to do when we're when we're dead? You know, and then we we fight each other over that. You know, the different labor forces, the different belief systems. But BioTouch just meets people with that point one and that point two, especially, and it equalizes the playing field. It makes all of us equal. But I read this thing in relation to the body. I read this thing this morning. Well, we came up with all kinds of readings this morning. I know the sole purpose of the cosmos in evolution. And this is especially true of the human body. Though frequently mistaken for an obstacle or distraction by spiritual seekers, the body is a perfect evolution machine when its components are known and worked with. <laughs> wow. I, I love that, you know, because there's always these gyrations that we put our body through in order to come to spiritual enlightenment or, you know, you got to be in this pose, or you got to fast for this many days, or you can't have sex, or you can't eat this, and you can't do that. And Jenny and I were just talking about it too. It's like we make all these rules, you know. And what's nice about BioTouch is you can throw out all the rules. You know, each body has a different job to do in order to come to that evolutionary process, and it's not up to any of us to decide what that is. And BioTouch. It sort of puts us into our body right away. And that's that self-awareness part you were talking about. Yeah. Um, you know, what's happening in the midst of all of this stuff going on, um, the evolution of the body is um, all those old patterns that you were talking about are just that. They're ancient old patterns that are no longer serving. And so when we get something... Uh, like BioTouch that's here to, it's a fall black, back plan. That's what BioTouch is. It's like in the midst of all this cracking open and breaking down, we have something that is now here to cushion all of that, to help us bring together and to help us recreate all of these old patterns and how we, the concepts that we have had about not just who we are but our our bodies you know right. yeah it makes it much more i mean i don't know how many times i've worked on people that for probably the first time they've just let themselves be loved you know we yeah. talked about that it's you yeah know, we're, we're not hard, we're, hardwired for no that, we're right? not hardwired for that we're constantly judging ourselves we're judging our body we're judging the work that we do we're comparing ourselves with others you know, we always we want more of this because we see it on TV or, you know, we're always trying to get somewhere. And in BioTouch, it, it, there's this whoosh of letting yeah. ourselves be loved. It's like you said, too, you could, we're, we're, this is leading edge stuff here, you know? Yeah. BioTouch, okay. we're not messing around, folks. <laughs> so there's this, there's this um, axiom in, in, that I love because it reminds me of BioTouch, but it's it's about pausing, pausing to do another work. So when you think about that, because our concept of work in our society and this old paradigm, ancient, ancient thought form about what work is and labor is, is totally part of that what what's called the illusion of why we're here biotouch lets us pause and rest in that 
body and through that self-awareness begin to understand that the true work here is not what we conceived it to be this is like turning us in another direction and this is why you and i have been saying that health is the new wealth that success is peace and lovingness and kindness in our in our daily lives right which is interesting we've been saying all the time you know it's our birthright to be happy healthy and loved if that's not something we should have to go get you know we shouldn't have to labor intensively that that labor of love should let us be present in that and that's what fire touch brings us is it allows us to live in that awareness that we are loved that we are happy that we are healthy it doesn't mean that the body's not going to go through all the stuff it has to go through i still get my pain right. I still get a cold, my runny nose when the allergies come. I might still have to do an operation. You know, what, what BioTouch has really taught me is, you know, that's not who we are. I used yeah. to judge the, the medical procedures and, you know, eating, drinking Diet Coke and stuff like that. And all of a sudden I realized, you know something, that, that's part of the dance of that person, you know, and that's not who they are. You know, that's just their dance. That's their, their, their costume. And, you know, we all have a different costume and, and BioTouch gives us that opportunity to honor all of those. You know, that reminds me of something I read years ago that we can let the winds of heaven dance between us. <laughs> and, you know, cause we're all doing our own dance, but there is a choreography to that. And that's what we're all trying to remember here. Um, and we all have our place in that dance, that greater dance in the heavens. And um, this is what part of what BioTouch purpose is right now to help us to realign ourselves in that thought, that divine thought of, you know, we're here to work together. Right. And, you know, that's... So I really wanted, before we show some points, I just sort of wanted to, because I kept thinking BioTouch is just an action of love. But, you know, Horace wrote that song, which we'll pay, play at the end, too. And and so I wanted to read the, uh, a little Shakespeare <laughs> quote, which oh, I've always loved, because it always reminds me of the, of the essence of what BioTouch is. We're not trying to change people. We're not trying to improve them. You nope. know, we meet them in their suffering. And that's the one thing that's common on the planet is we're all suffering, no matter what our station of life. We're all living in fear. And, and so I just wanted to read one of the sonnets from Shakespeare. It goes, let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh, no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempest but is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error, upon me be proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. <laughs> Wow, thank you, Mr. Shakespeare. Yeah, so if it's good hundreds of years ago, it's still good today, even though he was always using his. <laughs> you can right. put her or neutral, gender neutral, but it's about love. It has no he, she, it in it. It's what yeah. we all are made of, and BioTouch is an opportunity to put that into practice without having to think about it. And so we Yeah, all you know. Uh, one last thought here about what you said a little few minutes ago is that what BioTouch is, is this doorway because none of us have the responsibility or the uh, power to change anybody's lives. If, if we thought that, that would defeat the power that's already within every single one of us. Right, right. What BioTouch is here to do is to remind every single one of us in this whole amazing group called humanity that we are each a thread of powerful love and light. 
that's what this is about. And so there's no way that we can change anybody's life. We can just look at it, observe it, and honor it with right. them. So that's why we always want to teach biotech. Because even all of our yakety yak 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 that we do every Monday to take up 20 minutes is no more important than just doing the points. So here we're going to teach you some points today called the eye set. The eye set is performed on the same side of the head. It may be used to address any type of eye conditions. Hold point X is located on both sides of the head and may be found in either of the following ways. Place the first two fingers of one hand in the indentation beside the neck muscle at the base of the skull. Then slide the fingers up the back of the skull, over a rise in the bone, to a very definite valley or dent which is hold point X. Another way to find X is to estimate a point about one-third of the way down from the top of the ear and one to one and a half inches behind the back edge of the ear. Again, there is a definite valley or dent in the skull, and this is hold point X. It is also the same as point four of the headset. To perform this set, hold X and touch points one through four, which are on the same side of the head as X. These points are in a line beginning at point one, which is just in front of where the ear meets the face. Point two, is halfway between point one and the outside corner of the eye. Point three is at the outside corner of the eye. To touch point four, ask the recipient to close their eye and touch on the recipient's closed eyelid. This is a sensitive area, so work gently. Repeat the procedure on the other side of the head. Hold point X, and with the other hand, touch point one, which is just in front of where the ear meets the face. Point two is halfway between point one and the outside corner of the eye. And point three is at the outside corner of the eye. And with point four on the recipient's closed eyelid. There you go. Just simple, works for glaucoma, cataracts, doesn't get rid of anything maybe, but it sure can help with it if you're going in for an operation, doing these kinds of sets. You know, we never make claims to heal anybody, to cure anybody. But boy, if you've got a problem, just do BioTouch. It can't hurt, it can only help. It's a labor of love. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we, we have a workshop coming up. And uh, it's on elderly care. Now, boy, I've been reading some stuff in the New York Times. This is a huge issue, especially for all of us uh, baby boomers whose parents are getting old or professional people uh, who now have to quit their profession in, the, in these homes. Uh, elderly care. This is going to be a great uh, set of points. We actually have John Abraham coming to talk to us. Uh, he talked to us about death and dying, too, and give us his... Uh, expertise of working with patient care as an advocate and a health care administrator. And he's going to discuss how the medical system deals with the elderly population and how to make sure you get the care, treatment, and procedures you want. So he's been involved with that. He's also going to discuss how to choose an excellent elder care attorney. So, and then of course, we're going to teach the points, you know, so because you could just do this at home, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's going to be simple elderly care or dementia situations, the points are going to be the same and it's going to empower both the caregiver and and the person that needs the care. So join oh, yeah. us for that. That's going to be uh, the 26th. Uh, oh, I put it on the wrong time, but the 26th, six o'clock, we'll also be live streaming that. Yep. So there we go. There we go. Happy Labor Day, dearest Bev. Yes, dearest <laughs> Paul, you got plans you. plans for this Labor Day? I'm not laboring today. Oh, no, either I'm I. Going to except pause I had to do a different work. Right, <laughs> I had to come in and do this, but this is a labor of love for all of you. It thank is. you all for letting us into your home, and uh, thank you, Bev. Thank you, Paul. And we'll see you all next week. We will have a glorious week.
If pain has got you down and you live in town, take a trip down to Pima Street. The people down there are people who care. They will get you back on your feet. Put love into action. Put love into action. If you ever want.